Nice 2-0 sweep in baseball on Wednesday. 3-0 already this betting week. Five dime winners on the Tigers in game number three, the ACLS, on uh, Tuesday night. And then, of course, going against Detroit, backing the Rangers as a five dime play yesterday, along with a five dime winner on St. Louis. So a nice little 15 dimes of profit added to the bankroll which is a nice way to start the week after ending last week with the biggest play of the season, the 30-dimer on the Lions. And on Tuesday's video report, I told you that, you know, I'm not one of these handicappers that celebrates the wins or laments the losses. To me, it was nice to win the 30-dime play on Monday, but Tuesday presented a new betting opportunity, a start of a new betting week, and I'm off to a 3-0 start. And tonight, time to reinvest some of that profit. Uh, on the San Diego State Air Force game, it's a 10-dime release. I'm on a 14-7 and seven run with those 10-dime plays. And as you know, 99% of my plays are rated between 5 and 15 dimes. So a 10-dime play is right there in the middle of the scale as they go in 5-dime increments. 14-7 and seven run with 10-dime plays, hitting 5 of the last 7. I think it's the best bet on the board tonight, guys. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here, and this is going to be your Thursday video report. I'm going to talk about both of your baseball games today and give you free picks on both of them, plus money-saving discount coupon code as well. Uh, that's coming up in just a moment. I want to also mention a couple of other hot handicappers. Uh, Tom Chambers. Uh, did I just say Tom Chambers? Dom Chambers, not the uh, former Seattle Supersonics. Was that it? Seattle Supersonics and Phoenix Suns uh, power forward. Not Tom Chambers, but Dom Chambers, the dominator. Uh, and he'll probably be pissed off that I called him that anyway. But anyway, Dom, uh, he's been on a nice run. You know, the last four weeks, 28 days, a $10 better has won $4,585. Uh, last night, 60-dime winner on the Cardinals. Tonight, a play equally as strong, a rare 60-dimer in college football. On the San Diego State Air Force side, uh, twice as strong as his 30-dime winner's uh, on the uh, Bills Eagles over on Sunday, along with the Lions Detroit and Chicago game under on Monday night. Stronger than his 50 dime play on Boise State in a road blowout of Fresno State. You remember last Friday night. It's been a great run for Dom along the way. He also hit his uh, highest rated play of the year, of course, on Sunday with the Steelers in that blowout of Tennessee. So that's what he's got going today. Uh, I would be remiss. If I didn't talk about Trace Adams for just a moment, because if there has been one handicapper that has absolutely dominated on Thursday nights, and let's face it, guys, you know, you win on Thursdays, it always puts you in a great position because then you're playing with your man's money come the weekend. It has been Trace Adams, guys. He is 52 and 25. I'm sorry, 53 and 25. Sorry, Trace, didn't mean to get your record wrong. 53 and 25 in college football on Thursdays the past four years. And on Thursdays when he releases what he calls his 1,500-star lead pipe locks, like, for example, yesterday he had a 1,000-star uh, play, which is normally his top-rated play on the Rangers-Tigers game to go over. Well, today, when he has a 1,500-star lead pipe lock in college football, he's 37-16 and 16 the past four years. And tonight... Uh, he's got one, a 1,500-star uh, lead pipe lock in college football on the Southern Cal California game. So you might want to check out uh, Trace Adams and another guy, uh, Jeff Benton, who uh, sent me an email saying, why don't I ever mention him in the video reports? Okay, Jeff, here's your opportunity. I'm going to mention you today. Uh, he's won seven of the last nine days, including six of the last seven tonight. 30-dime primetime winner, number five in a row, Southern Cal and USC. Oregon last week, uh, UTEP over Houston, Cincinnati over NC State, LSU over Mississippi State. Those were the four previous winners. Guys, your money-saving discount coupon code is going to be a simple one, October 13. October 13, no space between October and the number 13. It'll save you $13 off of today's purchase. Once again, October 13 is the money-saving discount coupon code. It'll save you $13 off today's purchase. Now, as I mentioned, I have a 10 dime play on the San Diego State Air Force game. And the reason I have the 10-dime play on that game rather than on Southern Cal California is I have absolutely no idea who to tell you to take in that game. I mean, I am absolutely clueless. You know, I like the Pac-10, but generally, you know, I limit my Pac-10 selections like I do in every conference to teams that I really feel I have my finger on the pulse of that team. And in the Pac-10 this year, it's really been Oregon, and Washington State. Those are the two teams I feel most comfortable with. California and Southern Cal? Pfft, I got no effing clue who's going to win that game tonight. So that
to hell with that game as far as I'm concerned. The only thing I can tell you about California is I was very impressed with their backup quarterback last week in the Thursday night game when I gave you Oregon, and uh, he came off the bench, and even though Oregon knew that he could throw the ball every single down because they were down by double digits, he really moved the ball up and down the field. So I can't tell you anything about those games, so instead let's talk a little baseball here. Uh, Detroit, would you say, is it a must-win situation today? Down 3-1 in the best-of-seven ALCS series, but they have their ace going, Justin Verlander. Now, Verlander has not pitched well in the playoffs, but let's give him a little defense here. You know, two of his starts have been interrupted by rain, but this is the game that your ace better step up and deliver. You won 24 games in the regular season. People were talking about you poss possibly not only winning the American League Cy Young Award, but also being a candidate for the MVP. Well, you better damn well pitch like one tonight because Jim Leyland's already said that Joaquin Benoit and uh, Jose Velarde are not going to be available tonight, okay? They are not. And uh, Jim, do you really have any regrets now of pitching uh, Velarde, those two innings in that game a couple of nights ago? I, I don't quite get that. But anyway, they're not going to be available tonight. So if I'm Justin Verlander, I'm going out there with the mindset that I better dish and deal a complete game tonight because there ain't nobody coming out of the bullpen to rescue my ass, and this is what your ace is supposed to do. Listen, guys, at home this season, 10-3 and three with a uh, 2.37 earn run average. Uh, C.J. Wilson, uh, potential free agent, potential number one starter, hasn't pitched like a number one starter, certainly for the Rangers here in the postseason. Um, He's only made one lifetime start against Detroit in seven career appearances against the uh, Tigers. His ERA is 5.56. But the stat that gets me that he's made two postseason starts, one against Tampa, one against the Tigers. He's given up 12 hits and 10 runs. And eight of those, eight of those 10 runs have been earned in just nine and two-third innings of work. Well, you're getting the Tigers tonight at minus $1.45 to $1.50 on the high side. I'd go with Detroit. Again, I would take Detroit. Meanwhile, momentum is certainly on the St. Louis Cardinals side. I went with the Cardinals last night, and I like them tonight with Kyle Loesch, uh, what, laying about a 135 price at home uh, against Milwaukee, a Brewers team that hasn't played well on the road all season. Why should they suddenly play well on the road in the postseason where they're already 0-3 between the Arizona and St. Louis season, uh, series. Now, Kyle Loesch is going for St. Louis. He last pitched uh, in game one of the NLDS against Philadelphia on the road. Five shutout innings, and then he imploded in inning number six. I think he gave up five runs in that contest. It's been 12 days since he last started, but, you know, three times this season he pitched I uh, had extended breaks of over eight days between starts. And ironically, the last time came September 6th when, after a nine-day uh, period off the uh, bump, he went six innings against Milwaukee uh, at Bush Stadium. Uh, shutout innings, in fact, in a 4-2 win for the Cardinals. He's 2-0 with a 1.50 earned run average in his last three starts at uh, Bush Stadium. So I will go with the uh, Cardinals here as the small home favorite as well. So both home favorites, the Tigers and the Cards, are your free picks. And again, money-saving discount coupon code will be October 13. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again on uh, Friday morning.